Hello Pisces. Happy, happy birthday to my Pisces who have birthdays within the first two weeks of March. Um, so the song I got on shuffle for you guys was Telepathy by Christina Aguilera. Um, you know me and I know you. We got telepathy. It's a jam. I did like a little dance session. So we're in some positive energy right now. In some positive energy for the Pisces, you could be finding somebody who just knows how to read your mind. Could be meeting your match, Pisces. All right, uh, let's take a look at um, let's take a look at oracle cards. Two, three, three oracle cards for Pisces, please. Seek hidden treasures. Ooh, so maybe, maybe you're just getting to know someone and you feel like they can read your mind. Maybe you need to look more into that. Maybe you need to seek the hidden treasures within this connection. Shine your light and raise your vibration. Okay, I love this. I love this for Pisces. I feel like this is gonna be a really good two weeks for you. Obviously, when the sun's in your sign, um, it's such a good energy. It's, it, I mean, the sun. It's the sun. Okay, my bad for that noise. I don't know how to turn that off. Um, anyways, such a good energy here that I feel like you are going to be in such a good vibration a lot of people are going to be attracted to that energy. The sun is in your sign right now. So it's kind of like all eyes on you, Pisces. So, you know, use that to your advantage. Use it to your best benefit for good. Shine your light. Um, use it to raise that vibe. And I feel like you're going to be attracting a lot of people towards you right now. Um, but let's look at this one relationship in particular. Bottom of the deck, we got the Queen of Cups. There you are getting in those feels listening to your heart, listening to your intuition. I feel like your intuition is guiding you right now. And um, you could feel like this really emotional bond with somebody who just gets you. All right, so overall energy between you and another person. Knight of Swords, somebody coming rushing in with news. You could be connecting with an air sign or somebody with air in their chart, or this is just somebody who's moving very fast towards you. Um, you're very much gonna feel like this person just gets you. If you hear more sounds, I'm really sorry. This is a new computer. Mm -mm -mm. Um, this is a new computer and I just don't know how to update the settings on it. Okay, so we got the three of wands here to clarify this knight of swords who's rushing in. So maybe this is a piece of information, some kind of information, some kind of news that you have been waiting on. It's coming. It's nearly here. Your ship's about to come in. Your knight in shining armor is about to swoop in. Save the day. You know what? I don't like that because that promotes damsel and distress behavior. But there's somebody in here who's going to come and kind of free your lonely heart is what I'm seeing. So that's how we'll word it. Because uh, it's going to be somebody you feel like you just understand. All right, so we've got the Ace of Cups, Pisces, Temperance card, Sag energy, and the Queen of Wands, fire, fire energy. Um, okay, let's see this Ace of Cups here. New beginnings in love, get ready. You're gonna be in your feels. I think I've been seeing this for Pisces. So, um, and I see you pouring that into somebody else. I see you giving those emotions having emotional communication with somebody, um, having these talks with somebody. This is also somebody who could be creative in some aspect of their life and they're going to help you create. They're gonna help you take those emotions and turn it into something. Just keep that in mind. Let's see, Ace of Cups. Give me a clarifier for this Ace of Cups. Nine of Wands, okay, so this is you after a period of time, you know, not wanting to put yourself out there maybe, maybe feeling like beat up by past relationships. I feel like you're going to 
this one's just going to be easy for you. This one's going to be easy for you to kind of take this leap of faith, easy for you to pour into this person. Um, I do feel like this person is going to be your ideal. They've overcome a lot in their life. Yeah, look, strength. Wow. This person's overcome a lot in their life and they've used it to create um, power. Like they, they used it to fuel their power. Um, their power of self, their power of understanding who they are. So I feel like that's something that you're going to really resonate with this person is that they're like a kindred soul to you. They've also been through hard times and they use it. They haven't shut themselves off. They haven't let it get them down. They've let it make them stronger. And you guys are going to have a lot of conversations about this. This is like somebody coming in that you can talk to. They're going to get you. They're just going to get you. And you're going to get them. Six of Cups. Past life soulmate. Three of Swords. It could be somebody from your past too that you've had a bad ending with. Just saying. Because those two cards are, are about past life. But okay. Lover's card. This is going to be like an intense. This is an intense soulmate connection. You guys bond over heartbreak. Now whether that's because they have broken your heart in the past. Um, but I feel for some of you, this is going to be past life person. They're going to remind you of somebody. They could remind you of somebody as you, them, like there's going to be this familiarity. If you don't know this person, if you never met this person before, if you don't know this person, there's going to be a familiarity there, or they could be somebody that you have, um, been with in the past. Just saying, cause that six of cups is there and that three of swords is there. Um, and the lover's card. So whatever it is, it is a strong connection. Now the two of pentacles here. Tell me about this. I just feel like this is a lot of communication. This person is currently... This person's currently... For some reason I'm seeing like... This person's currently could be with a job like juggling options juggling decisions not really juggling but they're kind of um they're kind of i don't want to use the term waiting they're waiting on this like victory to come in this wish fulfillment to come in in regards to something in their work so this could have been if this was a past person, this was the situation. They were waiting to kind of balance out something in their finances. That's why they couldn't give 100% to this connection. Now they are Now they are more stable and established and able to give. Um, <clears throat> if you don't know this person, or if you're just meeting them, you've never met them before, um, this is kind of something that they could have just gone through. They could have just gone through some kind of win in their life. And then you're meeting this person. Um, but take that how it resonates. Because I just see this person coming in. And you guys are both going to feel the same about each other. You're both going to really enjoy having conversations. You're both going to think that you're each other's people. You're going to have this sense of like wish fulfillment here. This person feels the same. All right. Eight of... Jesus. We've got the Eight of Swords here, the Five of Pentacles, and then the Death card. Okay. So let's take a look at this. This Eight of Swords... And the Page of Cups and the Moon card. So there's your energy, Pisces. With that Moon card here. So, gosh, this is really going to... This is going to be a situation that does put you in that energy of... You're going to be really in your emotions with this person 
And I think it's imperative to not, to not overthink things, not overanalyze, um, because it seems like there is, there is gonna be something going on with this person's career, career opportunities that you might not know about. Um, or you may, because they're trying, they're, they're, right now they're focused on something here. They're focused on winning something, winning something at their job, winning something in their life. Um, this person, this could be somebody that you have dealt with in the past. Um, someone you felt like you couldn't move on from. Because there is this feeling of this separation here. And if you don't know this person, um, it could. So here's the thing. It could be a situation in which you are going to be, you're not going to see the whole, like if you don't know this person already, when this person comes into your life, there's going to be a little period of, there might be a little period of separation upon first meeting this person. And it might be a situation in which you're like, oh my gosh, we connect on all levels. And then this person kind of goes into, like they might disappear on you a little bit, but realize it's because they're going through some kind of ending. They're ending something, whether that's another connection. Um, and it's so important for you to not let that affect you. So take this as like, if this happens, if you meet somebody who you're like, oh my gosh, this is my person, then you immediately go into a moment of separation. It's because they're clearing, they're ending something, and then they're going to come forward here because it goes from the death card to the eight of wands. So that is like fast forward movement um, after like ending something because it's something that this person has been juggling for a while maybe maybe it's another relationship that they've been like you know what i don't know if i should leave they meet you have a conversation you talk they feel connected to you they have to go clean up something maybe it's job maybe it's like you meet this person traveling and this person's like you know these are all the options but what is imperative for you pisces is not to let yourself get stuck in that energy you have to keep Moving forward, you have to keep shining your light, raising your vibration, because that is what's going to attract this to come in faster. Um, time is so relative. For some of you, you're in this process now. For some of you, you might be. Um, so it's like what you're waiting for is about to come in. That news, the information you've been waiting for, it's about to come in. So Pisces, that is what I'm seeing for you. In the extended, I will look into... Um, who this is coming towards you. Let's see more about it. What messages it is that they have for you. Um, what that news is. What is happening unexpectedly uh, for you in the first two weeks of March. As well as advice from spirit. And what is blocking this from coming in. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box. And I will see you guys there. Bye.